Anybody? Is he? <laughs> so, Vonna, this is your what show? How huh? much? Like literally 20th show? No, not 20th, but a few, maybe 8 major. Talking about like concert, full concert, maybe about 8 number. Yeah, your, your full concert, mm -hmm. 8 show. Yeah. And this is the first one in the East? We in the East or in town? Yeah, East, east West Corridor. Yeah. Anything, anything be, before well, Grand Bazaar is East? Apart from Kaiso Blues. I mean, I'm done thinking between Kaiso Blues, but this is kind of like the first one in a concert hall, kind of like. Backstage, and uh, this is probably a show. What are your thoughts going on to your head right now? This is song check for tonight. Like, how are you feeling? You're accustomed to it, it's like yeah, generally I'm battling so I strip it on allergy issues. So, that's my primary concern more than anything else. Not really, not really any details of the show to be honest. What's the process which you pick in songs? Plenty <laughs> listening. Plenty listening because, especially for this concert, I wanted to the music, the variety of the music to be kind of, I didn't want to be kind of pigeonholed into what people are accustomed to hearing when we do the Right. So it would have taken a lot of, a lot of listening. Um, as I tell people, I don't really sing songs that I don't like or that do resonate with me somewhat. I like them, I sing them. They mean something. Then. Right. This last album you had, the name of it was? Want to Shine. Want to Shine. Are there any original? Do you do original? We do no original this season. This season. And the album doesn't have any original. Only covers of Trinidad and Tobago classics. But you have original. That's one. You even tell you. What's the name of that? It's called Reason. Sorry. Re Reason? Reason, yeah. It was written by Callen, my drummer. For me. Nice. Mm -hmm. Any plans of doing more? Or you think you might come with the entire bonnet? No plans for us eating my McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, into this concert. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe by tomorrow, but right now, I don't know. No plans past tonight. <laughs> what would you say? Are you really in good at eating McDonald's? Yeah, we'll get him a free plug. Put your Wendy's on. Yeah, yeah, we'll get him a free plug. This episode, this episode is not by Wendy's, but <laughs> we'll get him a free plug. <laughs> what would you say is, um, what does, what is jazz to you? A lot of people, um, locally, when they talk about jazz, they hear different explanations. What is uh, bonnet because for me, definition of jazz. Okay, jazz is a music that comes out of North America, right? It's like what they call North American classic music, classical music. But of course, means different things to different people. Some key elements that you find consistent the jazz approaches across the world. The element of creativity and the ability to improvise on the spot. So. I mean, some people want to believe that jazz is just swing music or bebop or whatever. That's not my interpretation. It's about creating music from your experience and using the element of impro improvisation more than anything else. So, Cubans play their music. Monty Alexander plays jazz, but from his Jamaican reggae perspective, just like Clive Zander played it from his Trinidad and Tobago perspective, you understand? So it means different things to different people. Generally, most people just go because they like the mood and, and they like the crowd. And <laughs> it, it sounds cool. Or they're not feeling that deep. <laughs> What's your favorite song you like to perform? Me? Of all, I won't say of all time, but you love to you look you love performing this song on stage. What song that would be? Yeah. All of them? I never really think about our boy. I like Born to Shine. I really like Born to Shine. Right. Yeah, but I can't think of another than that really. I like I like to I like to sing. I guess so. Born to Shine, I would say. We have, oh, we do it. So we come together, we can 
Saxophonist, is that the correct a, word? Yeah, saxophonist. I got it. I used to say I used to say saxophonist. That's wrong, right? Um, you know, like English language is such that once somebody understands what you're saying, then right, that's what it is. is. How long you been playing for Vonet? Um, for Vonet, about at least eight years. I know you you deserve a whole interview by yourself, uh. <laughs> right? And she's so privileged to have one of the best saxophonists in the land. But what is your experience playing for like like? Um, well, I think so far, and, and from the beginning, like the first time I heard one, it was actually, I think down in Separia playing with uh, Carlton um, Zander um, with the Cold Pot Band. And I was like just so blown away by what she was doing at that time. Um, but generally, I think with all the musicians that she has gathered, it's, it's not just a gig. And that's like one of the most refreshing things. I mean, because you're creating music, you're trying to put that energy outside. And right. um, Vonnet is, there's, there's, there's a rawness, there's a truthfulness to the way that she performs. True. That when you, when you feel the energy on stage, it's because everybody up on stage, they like each other, it's like good energy. And it's, it's really, really one of the special things about performing with her that I really, really enjoy. Right. Sorry, have a good one tonight. Oh, thanks, man. My friend Rodney. Yup. How are you going? I'm good, man. Uh, tell me some. How long you been playing for Vonnet? As long as I could remember. I think as that was right. That was that in. thing. I think that. <laughs> I think that was right after playing with Allison. Allison Hines. Okay. Okay. Started look with Terry, and from there was. Right. What's your experience? What's your experience playing for Vonnet? With Vonnet? Yeah. Maybe it, I should it, be here. It, I think it's very similar. Very, very, very similar <laughs> to Alison Hines' experience. Um, nice people, friend, more than more friend, family kind of feel more than. Is she one of those yeah. people that um, buff a lot, make noisy things, get things right? Yes, she will. She will do that. She's a perfectionist. She, yeah, she will do that, and we don't take it personal, but. She's that type of person, she wants it a particular way and she will get it out of you. Your with most, love. With your love. most memorable gig. Um, One that stands out to you. There are, there are a few. I think I think my biggest experience was I think it was milestone one or two when she had some of her friends from Boothby came down to play, right. play with play with us and the experience was really good. For me, it was like I was on the show, but I was more into the music, paying attention to what Dive was going on. Around. Good yeah, show. yeah. Yo, have a good one tonight, bro. Cheers, man. <laughs> uh, Nisa, just one of Bonnet's background vocalists. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how long you been singing for Bonnet? Which Bonnet? About almost four years. Almost four years. Yeah. What is your experience like working with her, rehearsals, stuff like that? Um, Bonnet is a gem. She's not a taskmaster. She kind of gives us the leeway to just, you know, enjoy the music. I like that. Um, we also have juice and stuff all the time. That's really cool. Um, she treats us like family and that's important to me. Um, what I really like more than anything else, actually, is the level of musicianship. The um, she chooses lovely music and I just, if, I mean if you know me, I love jazz, so every time I'm here, it just feels like 
Oh. Most memorable time on stage with Bonnet. She ever trip on stage? Nothing like nothing crazy like that, nothing like that, right? But no. your most memorable time. The most memorable time was when she gave the the girls this part to do in the song. It, it has become a staple. Um, and she would just say, girls go out, just go out and you know that was just really cool to feel to feel special in somebody's special moment. That was you know one of my favorite moments. Thank you very much. Have a good one tonight. Shadi, another one of Vonnet's background vocalist. Shadi, how long you been sing how long you've been singing for? With Vonnet? With Vonnet? Oh my god, I sing in Vonnet since I'm in Costa, I'm probably when I'm just at Costa, so probably like 2010, 2011, so I sing in for Tough Battle. And what is your experience with um, singing with Vonnet? Hmm. She's a taskmaster, she, she, she's nah, both people. She, one of the coolest people you could ever work with, one of the most supportive people you could ever work with, one of the most influential people you could ever work with what, as well. What she's, stands out to, um, to you the most with her? The fact that she is who she is. The hobby, exactly. <laughs> what you see is what you get and it's a wonderful personality. Something that you definitely can't contain and something that's definitely contagious as well. What's your favorite song singing with her? We I know there are many. Long yeah, the long time, while. but honestly, the one that Night in most. Tunisia was a challenge, but it was Which still one is that? Night in Tunisia was a challenge, but it was still one of the best songs that I uh, had to do singing with her. Okay, alright, well, have a good one tonight, Shadi. Part of the job, worst part, makeup. I hate it. Should be two minutes, two hours before show time. What is this through your going through your mind like normally before show time? Generally, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just hungry. I'm <laughs> gonna eat. I'm kind of going through my song list, kind of flow a little. Do you have a song list on stage or is you keep it in your mind? Nah, I don't have a song list on stage. There's 20 songs, I don't know the order that okay. <laughs> Yeah, so generally we have a song, it's at the base of the microphone. And... You have any weird ritual that you do? No, none at all. Nothing, nothing, no, nothing, no cut, no fall neck, no mm. eat, no Black. coconut, no roll, no nothing, nothing. Nothing like that. Bonnet Bigford's favorite local artist. Mm -hmm. If you have one, I guess. I like me. I like Terry. I like Mavis. I like Chantal. I like plenty. I could go on and on. Internationally? Top two. These days I feel in Gregory Porter. Not me goes. Huh? Not me goes, right? Who's that? Bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. I've been to oh, jazz events sorry. and um, I've seen when you come on stage, the place just transform. Mm. People have a good time. They get up, they dance. Mm. Relationships get restored. All kind of things. <laughs> so? Jesus. I gotta be Jesus. <laughs> All kind of things happening. <laughs> Yeah. I come with my prelates. What what is it about Vonnet when you hit the stage that what is it about you that, that um separates you from other artists? I don't know, you know. She's sweet. I I guess that. I guess I, I only I could only take responsibility for what I offer, I guess. Um the fact that I, I think I'm all heart. I, I give a hundred percent of myself when I get up there. You know, I yeah. I try to share me with people generally. And they appreciate it, but I, I really don't know for the others. But that's what I do. I don't know what accounts for the difference, but I just my I guess my mandate is just to take the responsibility to share the music, or communicate, affect people positively somewhat. You know. You hear stories in the soca world about it being a cutthroat business and the politics and mm. stuff like that. Do you mm. experience that? In nothing, well, nothing like that for me. I don't know if maybe because. I don't know. I've been really fortunate to deal with some wonderful musicians and to meet and interface and hang out with really wonderful musicians here. I don't. I don't know if it happens in in all sector, but I I really haven't been privy to that. As I say, little sector, well, which is a big sector, I think, because yeah, I yeah. think the crowds turn out to be very well. Mm -hmm. What station do? Does any local station play hmm. local jazz music? I don't, I don't know. I don't really. I don't hear it. Maybe a little um. Maybe one or seven sometimes, I don't know. So your but, fan base um, is just um, based on when they... Nine, seven at times. But other than that, I don't really hear the music on the radio. So your fan base, it turns out, is just based on um, 
I guess maybe past performances. Right, yeah. right. History, Good. yeah. And you're just bad. Well, I don't know. It's bad. <laughs> you you bad really... Is I don't know bad is a good thing. So I know you have to run, Jade. You're yes. very busy. It's a busy night tonight. Correct. But tell me real quick. Um, you are Vonnets. You are telling me you're not Vonnets official road management. But you I'm do, actually not. You do the CDs. You do the... Make sure the musicians have the script. You do... If anybody need water, that kind of thing. I mean, how long you've been around Vonnets? A while. I can't really say exactly... I can't really like come like tell you how long, but since like whatever Anthony's playing, you know I'm here. What separates Vonnet from any other jazz artist in Trinidad and Tobago? You think? Hmm. Vonnet just has this unique. Um, I don't. I don't even know. This just unique way about her, how she handles everything. You know, she's not. She's not fussy. She. Um, she knows that if I'm here, that everything is more or less taken care of. Right. You have a good one tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Take back care. Back. I'm off. Okay, bye. Well, I think Vonnet understands what needs to be done in the industry uh, and she has created a brand on it Bigfoot is a brand and um, I think she just has it down in terms of what needs to be done to, to separate herself from the rest of them when you think of some of the artists jazz artists I mean <laughs> because of what she has created for herself, the space that she has created for herself. Right. Uh, sh her name is at the top of the list, right. Vonnet Bigfoot. Yeah, you're working tonight, but normally I see you a lot of times in the crowd with her, you're a fan as well. I try not to miss any of Vonnet's shows. <laughs> I see you in everything. I, I am a die-hard fan wow. of Vonnet Bigfoot. Have a good one. Love her to death. Yeah, I can tell. Have a good one tonight. Thank you for coming out. Glad to be here. Adrian Dunmore. Hi, my name is Vaughn at Bigfoot. Thank you so much for all your love and support. See you out on stage. Bye.
And it's only half time and people are having an excellent time it's Bonnet Bigford's concert in the east she's a jazz extraordinaire let's just talk to a couple people and find out how they are enjoying themselves I think I could wrap up after this because I mean dread <laughs> it's a wrap half time and it's already a wrap how are you enjoying the show so far Listen to me, this woman continues to surpass my expectations every time. I don't know why I allow her to surprise me. I mean, with one that you always expect excellence, right. but somehow she always seems to surpass the bar. Yeah. She always passes the bar. Yes, fantastic. Looking forward to the second half. Okay. Excellent time. What was the highlight for you so far? Oh God, everything. Everything about Vonnet is precious. Wow. Everything about Vonnet. Can't wait for second half, right? No, I can't wait for second half. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> Are you doing? 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 Are you do
wonderful. Uh, it's wonderful to see Monet do such a range of music and you know just being I've been She's the best. She's okay. the best. <laughs> Right. How are you enjoying the show so far? You know, I just came as I told Vonet. This is my fourth event today. Right. And tired as I am, I told her that I'm going to come here no matter what. I and so mean. I am prepared to take in a wonderful second half. A second half. Great. You all having a good time? Yes, I'm having a wonderful time. Yeah, he wonderful stood in his face like, I don't want to be in the front row. Thank you guys. You can tell us real quick how you all enjoying the show so far. Well, I don't think we miss a bonnet show yet. It's always excellent, always different. Oh, you have only t shirts? Yeah! Labri, Labri, make sure she get that. Labri, Labri. Hi. Hi. May I just have one with your name is Deborah? Yes. I hope that you are the one who is part of the three. Peter. That is amazing. You want to say um, that painting took about 20, 3, 24 hours. 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it, took, it, took a, it, took a, it took a while because um, you want to capture, so the black and white painting actually took an hour and a half, two hours. But this painting, because I wanted to, I wanted to capture her essence, which is, you know, yeah, you know, how Bonnet is on stage. It is so, amazing. Thank you. It is fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm having a ball. Why not? <laughs> My telephone number is 7924338. I'm on Facebook as well, Deborah R. Bartholomew. And yes, um, and for the next two months, I shall be solely painting. So if anybody wants to contact me to go painting. Yo, all you need to contact Deborah, the painting is amazing. Continue to enjoy the rest Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. You know what, my battery's about to die, but um, I just want to say that Vonet show is sold out. It's a sold out show. Thank you for watching another episode of... Let me try to get across here. Thank you for watching another episode of JD's vlog. My name is JD. Remember to like my page and follow my page. Vonet Bigford's concert in the East. And uh, it's only half time. People are having an excellent time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up right now. And I will go and enjoy the rest of the... Final. Hello. Mr. Bonnet, how are you enjoying this? It is amazing. It's so only far. half time. I know, I can't wait to see the other part. Yeah, you having a good time as well? Bonnet? You having a good Fantastic. time? Fantastic, great show. Is this good your good first stuff. event at Bonnet? Yes. Actually, yes. for her? For me, yes, oh, definitely. Her? And I'm amazed. Wow, wow, wow. I saw, I saw in South already at Supper a couple of years ago. Right. Amazing stuff. Wow, wow, well, I really would enjoy the second half. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. They're having an excellent time. And thank you, Vaughn, for having me cover your event this evening. It is sold out and everybody's having such an excellent time. Remember to like my page and share the link. See you next time. Share this vlog.